this is the finished product that I'm starting with right now. So you have an idea of how I went from this to that. And basically what I'm going to be teaching you is step by step how you can sculpt your face, make it really smaller when you're on your trip traveling. And it's going to help and this makeup is going to wear beautifully throughout the entire day. There's less powder to no powder and uh, let's start. Okay, let's start. Uh, so basically what I'm doing is that I am going to recreate what I did in Barcelona. That was to chisel off my face because when we were on that trip, I don't know how, I got an allergy. And I just didn't get a normal allergy. It really fucked with me really bad. Yeah, my face swole up like 10 sizes. I'm exaggerating obviously, but it was really big. Like it was huge and I was not comfortable with that look at all. So uh, I contoured the crap out of my face, which is something that I rarely do, if ever. Get your hair back for this one because it's going to be a doozy. Now we start with contouring. Surprise, surprise. I have this contour stick from Nisha, which I actually really like. It's pretty cool tone if you want to see the color and it looks nice on my skin. Anyway, so what I did was, I now when you have your hair back, you're going to see there's a natural line that falls, especially from this side because you can see the shadow. And then under my jaw, you start from this side, this corner, that's actually very important and then you flick it down. It actually smells like Barcelona in my head now. Then when you reach the bottom of your chin, in order to make it recede further, go slightly above the chin area, slight, very slightly. And then, like you see this part, this entire area, you need to cover it. Now as this is very ashy, I'll be using a bronzer on top of it to set it. Okay, unlike most people, I'm not going to ask you to really highlight your center of the face. I'll ask you to keep it normal to what you normally do. Don't highlight it extra because you want it to come further because first day when I did that, I felt as if those areas just seemed puffier and I was not wanting to go for that look. So the second, third day, I learned my lesson. Take a brush, flick upwards slightly and don't blend too much. You just want the edges to get blended. So see, I blended out these edges and that's it. I'm not blending out the actual thing. Same here, just pat it. Don't blend it out too much. Now you can also contour your forehead. I don't feel my forehead is big so I don't touch it. Depends on the person. Mm -hmm. Okay, the packaging is limited edition for the Misha BB cream. But I'm taking the Misha BB cream and I'll be putting a little bit of it in the back of my hand. Now I'm going to take the sponge and I'm going to pick up some product that's left on the back of my hand. And I'll start bouncing it in and on top. Now see, if I would have covered the blending, now see, it's looking pretty natural. Because it's from underneath our skin. And that's how it should look and should be. Now you take whatever's remaining on your sponge and then you lightly dab over your jaw area. Now, I'll actually give you an advice. Do not use highlighter. Boom! That's one thing you don't want to use. No highlighter underneath or over. Nothing. Now, what you're going to do is... Okay, I'm not going to be using concealer because what I noticed during the trip when my face was... Oh, I don't want to be using concealer because when I did that, when my face was puffy during the trip, I realized that, oh, you know what? Concealer is actually showing that my face is puffier because my cheeks are looking like this big. All right, so I avoided using a brightening concealer. And right now, don't you feel like I need to conceal here? Yeah. I mean, I still do it, but some of you might complain later on. Uh, okay, I'm using the Flower Beauty Concealer in shade Light. And I'm using a very light amount of light. <laughs> And I'm actually just concentrating it where my under eye bag is, like just this area. Okay, now setting your face with powder. I didn't do that on the trip. I'm sorry, I didn't set my face with powder during the trip. This is me, except me for who I am. I don't believe in applying too much powder. And for those people who are like, your under eyes will crease, your under eyes will crease regardless. I don't care which bitch tells you. It's gonna crease, okay? So don't, if you need to set your face with feeling oily, you do it. But if you're traveling, I would suggest just stick to creams and don't put powder on top of it because that's too high maintenance. You're doing a lot of movement and if you want to rub off things, at least creams, they melt back together. Creams and powder on top of each other for long durations. Don't sit wet. I'm taking my Bahama Mama bronzer in the only shade it comes in because that's how they roll. 
I'm checking if my brush is clean or not because I have been in that situation where I've put my brush into something and then something happens and then it's misery and then I'm crying. No, actually I'm not crying. I have to wash my face and do it again. But it's an unnecessary hassle. Unnecessary hassle. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway. And then I just set my area of disguise. That's what is important. And then I set this part. And now because I want my face to look less puffy, the eyes are the focus. So again, use the same product, people. Going into my bronzer and I'll be setting the whole lid till above this area because I've got hooded eyes. So I want this entire part to kind of stand out. So now you can see there's a structure in my face. And I don't know how hard it looks on camera, but it is recording. Okay, now I can see with the hair down. It looks slightly harsh, which I was intending it to. But if you're really oily and you're like, Sid, I can't take it. Okay, I'm taking my color board more filter powder and I'll be ever so gently buffing over the areas of my skin where I actually feel that I might have unblended it or something like that. If you don't use a powder brush and a powder to do that, you can actually use a sponge and just dab all over it from the area where the foundation is. Alright, and that will actually help you quite a bit. Blush time! What blush will we use? Uh, but first, lips. Okay, I'm using uh, this Maybelline Color Stay Liquid Lipstick for the simple reason that I actually want to finish it up. So why not use it in a video? Okay, we're not done with the eyes as of yet, but now it comes to blush. What blush do you use? I would go for a matte look. Okay, I would say stay away from shimmers and stay away from pink ready colors. What I would suggest is something, I mean, I'm giving drugstore options. I don't think so. This is available anymore. The Essence Matte Touch Blush. And this is the Flower Pot Blush from Flower Beauty in the shade uh, Peach from Rose. It's still in the color family of, still in the color family of brown. So what I'm going to do is because I want to, have my face or I wanted to have my face back when my face was just swollen uh, recede I wanted it to look smaller so instead of just wearing a blush now I'll show you how I actually applied it take your little fluffy brush now take your bronzer and put it over here like this is the apple of your cheek right and this is where your contour is here is where you would highlight so in between these areas, this part, I hope you can understand, okay? Here is where we contour. Here is where I would normally blush, this entire area. And here is where I would highlight. So what I would be doing right now is, I will be taking my bronzer slightly over here and covering this area, not the area where you're supposed to highlight. Creating a slight blush color. Now I'll be taking the blush and I'll be putting it on top of that because I want to enhance the color and make it seem as if it's not just peachy and some on the nose because why not and I know I don't wear this much makeup on a regular it's very heavy but I had to restructure my face so it had to be heavy I couldn't do much with it okay now the Milani must have matte palette it's frankly the best palette when you want to really sculpt your eyes and this was the time that I really wanted to uh, bring in more depth what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to create my crease over here. So right now my crease is over here. This area, I'm going to create my crease over here. And I'll be taking a dark brown. And I'll be placing it over here. Then I want to create my crease and just carve it out. With the brush that comes in the palette, alright. I find it a good size brush for my eyes. Okay, now that I've done that, what I'll do is I'll mix between the dark brown and the black. Just dab back and forth and uh, place it over here. And now this makes a weave. When I close my eyes, there's a proper weave. Now, the question of how do you blend this? This small of a brush is what you should be using, and you go in and you blend. Hold it from here, and then you blend in. I mean, I don't use soap low motions, I never really got that. But now, once the top part is blended, go back and forth. Now I'm taking the bronzer that I put on my eyelid and I'm cleaning it up in a way to help the eyelid look better. Now you use that to help blend the bronzer that you added on top even more. So sometimes you need more powder to blend powder. 
now to be very honest i did not apply my car in the whole trip because uh, i did actually for a few days but it just felt slightly more and more unnecessary as the days went on so i was like mascara free sculpting my eyes living my best life that's it for today subscribe to my youtube and my instagram and if you find at sidika anywhere it's me usually so and uh i don't want my cheeks to look bigger i didn't want i don't want